Hey guys, what's up today? Uh, this is what happens when you get bored. Um, I made a pet gravestone out of uh, high density concrete, casting concrete, for um, our family pet monster. Uh, put a little uh, paw print there for him, got his name in it. Um, I ran into a few uh, complications. There's a few things that I learned. This is my first one, so we're definitely going to put this out on his grave. Um, there's a few things I could have done, level it uh, a little better where I didn't have a chip coming right in on both sides of those corners. And also, um, I, where I had the mold for the dog print that I was going to use, it didn't glue well to the inside of my cast where the letters did. So next time, I'll just cut this out of foam because I made these out of foam letters. And I'll just cut this out of, out of foam and I'll put that on. So I know next time uh, that's how I should do that. The rest of the video will show you how uh, I made this if you're care to watch it. Um, if not, um, yeah, check this out. 80 pounds of concrete. And uh, I think I'm going to make a few more. Maybe some Christmas gifts or something. Okay, so what I got going on here is a clear tote. I picked this particular tote up from Hobby Lobby and these foam children's letters. I'm spraying, arranging them on my tote, and I'm spraying them with clear spray paint on the outside so that I can see where my letters are going to be sitting when I get ready to glue them on the inside of my mold. What I did is take blue painter's tape and I'm marking out the outside of my mold to show where my concrete level is going to go and at what angle. Painter's tape works really well. And it's just to keep you in line with how your concrete's going to go. Now that my spray paint was dry on the outside of my mold, I started taking super glue and 3M spray glue and putting my letters on the inside of my mold. When I lift the mold up, I can see where the clear spray paint had sprayed on the outside of the letters and it gives me a place to put them directly. Now I take my paw print and I glue it on the inside of the mold. Here we take hot water with one gallon, pour it on inside of the mold onto the foam letters and press them down a bit, the hot water will extract the bubbles from the foam letters and that is important. I pour the hot water out and then we're going to mix up 80 pounds ratio one water, one gallon of water to 80 pounds of concrete. This is precision concrete for casting. Um, $14.99 for a bag of it at Home Depot and it mixes very well. It mixes really, really dense, so we gotta get a good mix on it. I am using a electric drill with a paint paddle. A concrete paddle would've worked better. Unfortunately, I didn't have that. And you can see my little daughter, she is a great helper, and she is running around back there. She will be helping me mix and tap out the bubbles. Make sure you get a really good mix on your concrete and when it's all done set your mold up at the angle that you want pour your concrete in nice fluid concrete make sure your levels are right and we're going to start tapping around the sides because we want to bring the air bubbles to the top of the concrete it's important to get the air bubbles out of your concrete it makes it really really dense so as much as you can Give it a little bit of vibration, a couple little taps. We transferred it inside, and that's where it should sit for about 48 to 72 hours. I unfortunately made a mistake. I left mine out for 24 before I started fiddling with it. Won't do that again. The paw print of the mold came up out of the mold. I didn't glue it on good enough. I had to carve that out freehand with a Dremel. I painted the letters and the mold black 
and then finished it with clear spray paint.